Hey there, Internet. Pixel Geek here with another quick tip on a basic inside of Webflow. So this one is all about flipping text sideways, right? Seems pretty simple, but how do you do it? All right, so let's go to my desktop right here. And say you have a page that has like a couple sections. So we have a hero section, a card section, and a feature section. Now you may have seen some dribble pages or um, designs that have text on each section that has like a title of it on the side and it's on the left side. So let's go ahead and do that. So how I would approach it is if you click on uh, your section and set that position to relative, we're going to then add a text block, All right? So we've dragged in a text block or command E or control E for quick find. And let's go ahead and replace the text with, um, let's just say welcome, you know? And let's style it a little bit. Let's make it big, like 32, make it bold. And let's make that a little bit transparent, kind of like, like that. We can also set it to all caps. Yeah, let's make it, let's style this a bit. Okay, cool. So we style it like that. And now we need to make sure that this is set to display inline. Okay, so display inline block, position absolute, and put it to the bottom left. So we're gonna put it there. And now we need to rotate it. So how do you rotate it? You're gonna scroll all the way down to 2D and 3D transforms. We're going to press the plus button, rotate. This is where you find rotate, and now we can rotate it. And there we go, all right? So we can rotate it to a negative 90. But if you notice, look at that, when I rotate it, it goes into the second section, and I don't want that. So the best way to handle this is to play around with the, uh, the transform origin. Now, if you look, if I'm rotating it, the transform origin or the anchor point or what or whatever you want to call it is in the very center. If you look right here, the very center of this block is where it's rotating on. So if I go back and there's these three dots or what I'm going to call kebab menu. So click on that and we're going to set the transform origin to the bottom left. I think that's right. Let's see here. Yeah, so if you notice, the bottom left, it's anchored to the bottom left of the box, and if I rotate it, cool. So I can go ahead and negative 90, and we don't see it, but that's okay. We can push it in more using this left side in the position, and there we go. All right, so we have that welcome. We can push it up more. Cool, and let's make this card section have a different background color. So we can tell, there we go. So something like that. And yeah, so what I can do is copy this, okay? And go to my card section and then again, make sure that it's set to position relative, paste it, and there we go. I can say uh, cards, card section, whatever. And there we go. And then last one, we're gonna do the same thing. Feature section, position, relative, and then paste in my text block feature section. All right, cool. All right, well, uh, let me know what you think about this quick tip if you have any questions about it, but that's about it. Hopefully this helps, and as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.